Hi guys, in this video I had a few comments about mail service, how to get your packages, how to get your uh, letters, things like that here. Also talking about the driver's license, so we'll go ahead and dive into those two topics today. Stick around. All right guys, so I'm actually just hours away from leaving to Cebu City. Uh, Maya and I are feeling much better. Uh, a little hint of cold, but uh, mostly we're, we're better. So that's good news. So within hours, we'll be uh, going to Cebu City on a midnight ferry. Basically, it arrives at 6 a.m. So sleeping on a, on a bunk the entire way. So the ticket for Maya and myself in my motorbike from Dumaguete to Cebu City cost 2000 950 pesos or approximately 60 bucks if you didn't have a motorbike it would be about 600 pesos a piece that would include a room with a uh, a bed a little uh, bunk bed or a cot and uh, if you just want to go where you're just sitting you know in a regular seat then it's about 400 pesos per person now on the way back my and i have decided we will drive our motorbike all the way from Mactan all the way down to South Cebu and cross over by the ferry and we'll be home. And we're just going to take it as a, uh, a trip through the mountains and uh, see some sights and just enjoy ourselves. So that will be on the way back. So uh, to dive into the two questions, uh, mail service. Simply put, mo a lot of people just don't have a relative that they can use to count on. Now, luckily for me, I did. I have uh, a relative that I was able to use their address to get mail. However, the first uh, six months, first year, I think, I went through a, a service and there is a link down in the description and they have different packages where they will, you'll have a US address. They will look into uh, shipping items for you. They'll open mail, discard junk mail. There's different options that you can choose for that. Maybe the first six months to a year, you want to keep something like that until you can start getting all your stuff online or until really you don't have many things coming to you anymore and it may not be worth it. Again, there's different packages. So you may sign up for um, and like the ultimate package where they're just opening your stuff, discarding the junk mail, shipping anything that you uh, need. Later on, go to just a basic package. So the, that's an option as well. Otherwise, you can just find a family member who can uh, take care of those things for you. So hopefully, if you're doing this correctly and you're planning to move out to the Philippines or Southeast Asia, you will have already kind of set the groundwork to convert everything to either online or letting everybody know ahead of time, hey, uh, you know, call your bank and say, hey, I'm going to be now living overseas or maybe I'll be living here part time and, uh, you know, I don't want... Uh, I want my bills just to be automatic or, you know, whatever. There's a bunch of different, different options that you can do. Again, I also recommend license, passport, credit cards, anything you can think of that has an expiration date from your home country, contact all those places and let them know your situation. You're going to be going uh, traveling and you want uh, expiration dates set out as far as possible. A lot of companies are accom accommodating and they will actually, even though there might be a full year left before your card expires, they may send out another one. Uh, you'll be good for you know another four years or five years. I, it just depends. I've had many companies that do that. So take care of all that stuff. It's much easier to do that while you're still in your home country. Uh, number two, the driver's license thing. This comes up so many times. And the one thing I wanna tell you, Unfortunately, we had a term in the military and it was called uniform. They wanted everything uniform. Everything had to be exactly the same. This soldier looks like this soldier. He's dressed. His uniform is pressed, uh, starched, or well, that was back in the old days, BDUs. Um, boots shine, that was the old days too. And everybody was uni everything was uniform. Everything, the way it was run here was the way it was run there. Everything should have been run equally uniform the same. Well, here in the Philippines, I have discovered that that is not always the case. For example, opening up a bank account. A lot of people say, 
hey, what are, what's the deal with opening up a bank account? Well, guess what? You can walk into one bank and they may tell you one thing and then you go literally across the street to a different bank and different uh, set of regulations or rules. Um, I've been to a particular branch and they told me this particular thing. And then I went to the same bank, but a different branch and they, uh, you know, they gave me a, a different answer. So nothing is uniform. And so when I give you the information for the driver's license, this is the general rule. Are you going to find some, they call it, uh, instead of the DMV in the U.S., they call it an LTO, Land and Transportation Office here in the Philippines. And uh, here, here's one thing that is uniform. Your license is good for 90 days from your home country. Your license is good for 90 days. So if you are going to be here longer than 90 days, guess what? If you get pulled over, they can go ahead and uh, confiscate your bike, confiscate your license. Um, it can be a real headache. So if you don't want that problem, here's what you have to do. You need to, once you get your ACR card, Alien Certificate of Registration, which should be right around the 90 day mark, it comes on the second visa extension that you do. Is there any way to get around and get it earlier? You could talk to the uh, Bureau of Immigration and explain, hey, can I get my ACR card early? I've heard of a few expats that have told me that a few offices have said, yes, we can do it uh, maybe three weeks early or something. So again, nothing's uniform. It could be totally different at a different Bureau of Immigration office next to a different one. So. 90 days, you'll need your ACR card. You then go down to the um, land transportation office. Your license will be good for five years. As long as your license is in English, it's just transferable. You basically, they look at your license and they will grant you another license. You, you do have to do a, a medical. You have to do, I think, again, uh, this is going to be different at different LTOs, but they'll require a vision test. They'll, uh, some places require blood pressure. Some places uh, require a urine test. Most people, when they come out here, they want a motor, they want to be able to drive a motorcycle. Now you will get the exact license that you have from your home country. So if you have the motorcycle endorsement in your home country, you will get that here. If you don't, you won't but you can uh, request it and they basically have you do just a, I think a drive through around some cones or something really simple. Um, I believe you have to provide the bike and uh, that's usually how it works. However, the majority of foreigners are driving their motorcycles around here with just the auto license and checkpoint after checkpoint no one usually ever says anything so again though you could have that one police officer who is having a bad day and you get to a checkpoint and all of a sudden uh, you know he's impounding your bike or giving you a fine so the best thing to do is get the motorcycle endorsement now i believe and some of you guys can correct me i'm not the i'm not always perfect on my information but i try to be but from my understanding is if you were like in Germany and you brought came over here and you had a German license, you would have to have it translated into English. Um, I believe that is correct. You can correct me again if I'm uh, if I'm mistaken, but uh, comment down below. So now also no LTOs are the same here in Dumaguete. It's kind of a hassle to get your license. It takes a week, two weeks. But you can go to the nearby city about two hours away, buy one, and go in the morning and by noon, you're walking out with your driver's license. And uh, it, it's easy. So it also depends on what land transportation office you go to. So ask other expats, ask locals, hey, where's the best place to get your driver's license here? Where's the easiest place? They may say, oh, this, uh, uh, this city over here, an, an hour away. So you could save yourself a, a headache and some hassle by d just going to the town uh, next door. Let's see here. So that's basically it with the, uh, with the license. 
If you have any further questions or comments, let me know down below. One thing I will tell you, in the Philippines, and Filipinos will tell you this, you'll see this, if, if for some reason you're not driving legally, let's say you are past 90 days, and uh, you're like, oh no, there's a checkpoint up ahead. You can see it. You can see motorcycles and cars and people stopping. Guess what? It's not like uh, the U.S. where you have to go. They're not going to come after you. You can stop ahead of time, turn around, and uh, go a different way. Or come back later and it might be gone. In fact, I've seen so many times here that Filipinos, they will actually stop before the checkpoint, literally... Uh, you know, uh, 50 meters before the checkpoint, and they will wait for the checkpoint to, to be done with, and then they will continue through. Why? Many of them don't even have a driver's license. So if there is something that is not completely kosher, that you're, you're not driving completely legal, guess what? Don't go through the checkpoint. Stop ahead of time, turn around, or guess what? Wait. Wait with the Filipinos and... Uh, and you'll be able to go through it uh, eventually. Um, I don't recommend anybody do anything where they have to drive illegally, but don't feel pressured like you have to go through the checkpoint. Anyway, uh, we are off. I'm gonna finish packing and we are off to Cebu City and uh, when I come back, I will uh, have some video for you and so will Maya. So thank you guys so much. I'll see you next time. Bye.